you ever fantasize about being killed? Never. Do you ever wonder about all the different ways of dying, you know, violently? I wonder, like, what would be the most horrible way to die? I try not to think about dying too much. Mm. Just don't get too comfortable. We have a job to do. What do you mean? I met another guy out on the river. He's hiding out from some monster, and he's not going to budge until he knows it's dead. There are monsters everywhere. I don't see how taking one out is going to change anything. I don't know, this one has him spooked really bad. But if we can kill it and convince him to stick with us, we'll be a lot better off. What do you mean, we? Nestor said he last saw the creature in the woods off to the east. We may as well take a look. Wait, hold on. After that, we can pick him up and check out the evac shelter down the road. There might be other survivors there. Yeah, but... You're gonna need better gear. We take a few minutes to sort through our stockpile. We burned a lot of ammo and mino, but we should have enough for a single monster. The real concern is getting Kirk some armor. May as well grab a cigarette while we figure this all out. We'll take some 40 Smith & Wesson, too. For starters, we'll want to look at Kirk's wounds. He's doing okay, but he'll need another day or so to heal up completely. Nah, I'm good. We need to help that guy out, right? We should do that as soon as we can. No waiting around. Alright, just be careful. Always. Next, we'll make a pile of gear for Kirk. We can start with a canteen. And he should probably have his own rifle case. There's a Kevlar vest here we can wash. How's the riot armor suit? That's not bad considering its condition. The coverage isn't great, but the fact that you can just throw that on without us having to craft anything is pretty convenient. Can we repair it? No, looks like we can't. We also can't repair our Kevlar vest. We'll want to keep an eye on its condition. Let's just clear a path out to the fountain. We spot some gasoline on the ground. It must have leaked out from our food cart or something. It takes a bit to wash all the armor, but before long, it's in acceptable condition. Kirk even already has a matching riot helmet. For now, we can have him ditch the t-shirt and the trench coat. He puts on the Kevlar vest and the riot armor suit. Okay, how's that looking? 19 encumbrance on the torso is not too bad. Now, let's get you a gun. Alright, so Kirk is a very good shot. We'll grab that M1A, and we can take the 7.62 ammo belt we got off that wrecked Humvee in Minot. 
If we disassemble it, it breaks down into linkages and individual cartridges. Oh no, we don't have any mags for the M1A. Oh well, that's okay. How about the M4? Nah, there's barely any 556 five, left. That makes things a little more complicated. So when it comes to ammo, it looks like 9mm is our best choice. We'd have preferred giving Kirk a rifle, but the M9 will do. We'll give him two magazines for it. I want you to use this. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so we've got 40 Smith & Wesson. We can drop our arrows on our laptop for now. We'll give Kirk a multi-tool just in case. We're getting set up, we'll stick red dot sights on both of our guns. These will slightly decrease our aim speed, but they'll improve our range. Since we're hunting a monster down out in the woods, it feels like range is really going to be worth it here. If we were indoors, it might be better to take them off. We dump some more excess gear, and with that, I think we're ready. down another zombie as we make our way east into the woods. We only need to reach the highway, and from there, there should be a trail through the swamp. Thank you. 
there's something odd off to the south. It's an unearthly pink flesh sack, moist and rich with veins. We crush it and it rapidly dissolves into nothing. Weird. A newspaper. Police to investigate Shady Hills. There will be a thorough investigation of the Shady Hills Nursing Home, owned by the Shady Hills Corporation, said police Monday. The announcement came following several lawsuits launching against the home by family members of the residents for alleged elder abuse and neglect. We swerved to avoid a giant snail as we reached the highway. Hey, look out! Kirk stops and fires at the creature, which has followed us out to the trail. It flinches as it's hit and retaliates by spitting a glob of acid at us. We both squeeze off a couple of shots and the thing goes limp. We'll give it a stomp just to be sure. It's a quiet hike up the trail, but we're both uneasy. Who knows what else the trees could be hiding? Eventually, we come across a parking lot in front of a low building. Nothing too useful out here. The undead are dressed in work uniforms, jumpsuits and hard hats. Is this a mine? May as well have a look. As we fight our way through the front office, we hear a commotion out back. What is that? There's a great crashing and the sound of snapping bone. Something must be fighting with the zombies out there. But how do we get out back? We give the building a wide berth as we try to scope out the northeast side. No, it's on the other end of the parking lot. 
And there it is, looming over the smashed hood of a parked truck. A putrid amalgamation of body parts from humans and other creatures have been fused together in this aberration of flesh. The eyes of all the heads dart about rapidly, and the mouths form a chorus of groaning screams. We call out to get its attention as it bounds off, looking for more zombies. It answers our shout with a snarl and wheels around to charge us, but the fence is in the way. No time to hesitate. We open fire. Shit, I'm caught on the fence! We keep firing, hoping to get the monster's attention, but it set its sights on Kirk. He manages to get free of the fence, but the monster is fast. It bounds forward on an unholy combination of limbs and leaps at Kirk, who tries to pistol whip it in a blind panic. Run! Get clear so I can shoot! Kirk keeps fighting back as best he can, but huge claws tear at him, striking his chest and arm. All we can do is keep shooting and hope we don't hit him. The monster slashes at him again, bowling him over in a furious rush. Just as it's about to finish him off, it's dead. We rush over to help Kirk. His right arm is shredded, but he's alive. Hold still. I've got you. You're okay. You're okay. That monster was faster than we expected. We're used to dealing with zombies, not whatever the hell this thing was. We should have given it more space so that Kirk didn't get caught out like that. We help him back up. His wounds are treated as well as we can manage now. Luckily, we're getting pretty good at first aid. Dead, we can clearly see that the monster is a tangle of human and animal carcasses, all melted together. But it wasn't acting like the zombies we've seen. Strange. We stomp it until we're sure that it isn't getting back up again. Then we set about exploring the place. Someone left a supply pack and some tools here. We'll grab the alcohol wipes, tortilla chips, and maybe some jumper cables. There's also some kind of a stone in the shape of a spiral. A fossil? We dump out the backpack and put it on. This will help us loot the place. So the monster actually shoved this truck through the wall here. That's a shame. This was a nice truck. It really tore through this place, didn't it? Ah, oh, what a mess. Saves us some work, at least.
There are some sewing supplies amid the wreckage. Yarn, string, thread, and buttons. Duct tape is always nice. duct tape. Super glue, bandages, earplugs, a battery, a cordless drill. This is all great stuff. We should probably grab some of these nuts and bolts. Seven more batteries. Yes, please. More batteries. Another candle. We'll take a garbage bag. Oh, and a fishing hook. Okay. We didn't expect to find this many supplies out here. The truck still starts. Hmm, but it runs on diesel, and the monster broke the pump. That's too bad. The elevator down into the mine doesn't seem to be running. If we want to get down there, we'll probably want to use this manhole. You think we could drive this electric car back? Let me look. Two of the batteries are damaged, and they'll drain power from the vehicle. It would be best to remove them. They're very heavy, but working together with Kirk, we're able to lift them out and dump them onto the pavement. but victorious, we drive away from the mine. Our task is finished. Now we just have to report back to Nestor. Maybe then the three of us can start looking for some place safer than this.